Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wish where we're gonna continue after I don't know how long but uh we're gonna fight the firebolt hell yeah this fireball is gonna get an ass whooping and go screw yourself firebolt Oh shit, come on. This freaking thing is gonna get spanked. Damn man, its health isn't going down at all. Barely any health. Oh shit. Okay. Firewall's not too bad. Jesus Christ. Where's my mouse? Fuck. I don't know where my mouse is. I can't activate my overdrive. Jesus frickin' Christ. Am I done yet? Can, can it die? Thank Jesus. Look at how much health I had. God. Insurance? What does insurance mean? I never noticed that. It seems your friends have succeeded in destroying the firebolt. However, they cannot stop me. Stars are the one... Are one of the greatest sources of heat. The power of the sun is literally in the palm of my hands. I trust my friends more than anything. I must stop you here. You speak of trust? Why would you... Why would you have come to engage me alone in a place where I am most powerful? I imagine you did not trust your friends would be a match for me. Your words are des what? designed to comfort only yourself. These are not just words born of what? desperation. I will do anything for my friends. Tell me, did you inform your friends that you would die soon after our planet keeping... Wait, soon without our planet keeping us alive? That, inf that information is irrelevant to them. I do not wish them to worry for me. Oh, but I disagree. I think you are afraid. You are afraid to trust them. Afraid to let them get close to you. What was his name? Deuce? I doubt you even bid the one in your heart fa farewell. And what of you? You are so afraid of dying that you would risk the life of lives of billions. What do you fight for? What gives you life meaning? It's true. I'm scared. I don't know if Mr. Deuce likes me for what I am. I don't know if anyone would forgive me for taking the fragments, but I would do anything for them. I have no delusions of great what? Grain year? Yes. I'm afraid of dying, but armed with the knowledge to return home. Is that not worth risking everything? No, not at the risk of other people's lives. You said that prolonging my life, I will continue to save the lives of trillions. I ask you to consider this. Saving the billions of lives here will save countless more. The billions here will have billions of children and so on. What right do you have to put an end to countless generations? What about the universe then? 
We will no longer be able to help those in dire need if we do not return to Lucerna. Maybe the universe doesn't need beings like us, who use our power selfishly. Everyone has fared pretty well so far without our interference. The offer to join me still stands, but it appears you are in an but you are not interested. Stand aside, the genie. I have a book of gates to create. Efreedy, help. Perhaps you are forgetting something. Uh -huh. What? Stars are compromised primarily of hydrogen being fused with helium. As one of, uh, well, as one who has dominion over air, my power is greatly amplified here. Irrelevant. I possess four star, fragment, star fragments. Whatever control you have planes in comparison to mine. Besides, those elements exist in a plasma state. You may have four star, star, pieces, star pieces, but I have the other three. I can easily bend them to my will. Uh. Afridi, I will not let you destroy the system. Then I am afraid we must continue our Dejini Afrid war here. I beg you to reconsider. I know more than anyone what it's like to be homesick. Day after day I've wanted to go back to our home, and at times I felt like I would do anything for a day back home. But what's wrong with living a mortal life? The people around me have, li have lived far richer, more meaningful lives than the two of us. Truthfully, I envy them and their Ooh, excuse me. capacity to enjoy things we take for granted. For once, I felt the sense of accomplishment. The journey of a thousand miles bear no meaning and if you blink the distance in a second. A good friend of mine once told me, I should follow what I believe in. I do not care in history if history brands me as wrong or right. But this is something I believe is dearly. This too makes me feel accomplished. Then I am sorry for what I must do. Summoning the vat wait what summoning the vast powers of air, I battled Efridi for control of the star. I tried to remove the matter from areas she tried to convert, but her control over heat was expert was extraordinary here. <laughs> she l it looks like she's scolding her. Afridi, why do you hold back? The star quickly rose in mass and temperatures, and Afridi forced more fuel into the flames. Afridi had already begun to form the exotic matter needed to stabilize the special wormhole, the Book of Gates. It soon became clear to me that she would efficiently kill me at any time. Why she chose not to was beyond me. You waste your f time, the genie. Perhaps you'd like to do something more constructive, like helping me, helping the inhabitants of Enigma. What do you mean? I might not be able to save Enigma, but with you here, it may be possible that you can. She was right. It occurred to me that Afridi did not have the power to forcibly remove the inhabitants of Enigma because her power was likely to burn them out, burn them up. I. I did not have that kind of power, not with what I have. Worry not, once I have opened the Book of Gates, I shall give you all of my star fragments. Use that power to wish away Enigma to a suitable star system. There wasn't much, there wasn't much else I could do. I was powerless to stop Neferedi, or Nefridi, Neferedi. The least I could do was shield my friends from the efforts from the effects of the Book of Gates as it opened. By Black Bear's ghost. <laughs> what the heck is that? I think it's what Jenny was describing. The star is collapsing into a hole. But it seems to be stabilizing. What's that? It's Jenny. She set up an air shield around us. You must be too close to that thing. Something's forming. Like, looks like a portal? The Book of Gates is complete. Fortunately, there was no catastrophic loss this time around. However, without a source of heat, 
all the planets in the system will freeze over. I thus bequeath what banquet? All of my star fragments to you, Eugenie. Do not disappoint me. True to her word, Ephraim handed me the star fragments. As she handed me the star fragments, I wondered, did it somehow make it worse than the one responsible for the deaths? Wait, what? Did it somehow make it worse than the responsible for the deaths of billions had a conscience? What? I stared at the ominous book of gates, the super wormhole connected between countless locations, even those that should not exist. I still think that I still think what you are doing is unforgivable, Freddy. But I thank you for letting me aid, letting me aid the residents of Enigma. If you want to thank me, don't put another planet on my guilty conscience. She may be over ambitious, but she was not completely without heart. With all the star fragments in hand, I enchanted the wish to relocate Enigma to the closest suitable star fragment. By the air that flows through me, reaching beyond the heavens, grant me this one miracle. The power to move worlds. In a torrent of magic wind, the planet was whisked away in the blink of an eye. It is done. Good. I shall meet you on the other side if you care to join. Open, Book of Gates. The destination we seek is the end of time. Show us the path that we must walk. We could both see it, a familiar sight through the portal ahead of us. A piece of home planet. A piece? A piece of our home planet? Something was wrong, terribly wrong. We could both sense it. The book of, ta what? The book of gates turned into a cloudy black. What was that feeling just now? It was as if pure hatred flowed out from there. There... Where have I felt such a presence before? It couldn't be. Efridi, do you remember about the ancient force that was sealed away long ago? What, you mean Iblis? The being that thrives on desires? Do you think it is possible Iblis was sealed in a location so difficult to reach? Um, there's no mistake. This feeling is the essence of Iblis. Iblis. Um... There is there was a reason why the Book of Gates is taboo. It opens to places that should never be visited. But why would the Lu why would Lucerna be stuck there? I do not know. However, as you would say, I think at this moment that is irrelevant. The black cloud started flowing from out of the gate at an alarming rate. Efridi, I must close the gate. No, we're so close. I know, but we mustn't unleash that thing upon this universe. Blast it, I cannot do anything. We're running out of time. I'll try to send your, you past a bliss, Ifridi. Live a good life for me when you, re when you get to Lucerna. The genie, why would you aid me? Why did you entrust me with the star fragments? Because you are the logical choice to save Enigma. Despite our differences, you show compassion and regret. Just as I trust my friends, so shall I trust you. You deserve that much. I thank you, Eugenie. Just don't go around blowing up stars again. Using the greater air power, I sent Efridi safely through the gate to the end of time. The mothership, on the other hand. Now what are they up to? Turn around! I don't know what the hell that black cloud is, but something tells me we need to get as far away as possible. Roger, turning the ship around. It was too late. We were caught by the black cloud being sucked through the black gate. Damn it! Get those jump drives online! They're already on! We're being sucked in spite of it! Suddenly we heard Ginny's voice. Mr. Deuce, there's not much time. I cannot pull your ship out of this cloud for it is too strong. But I can shield you until you pass through the gate safely. What? What's going to happen to us? When I close the gate, the cloud should dissipate. At least temporarily. What about you, Ginny? I will remain within the gate 
and destroyed. Wait, I will remain within the gate to destroy both ends. I must remain here to ensure the cloud does not escape. Jenny, no! Goodbye, Mr. Deuce, and thank you. Our time was short, but I'm glad we had. We, I'm glad to have met you. Jenny, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I'm sorry I even doubted you. I ever doubted you. It is I. It is I who should apologize. I did not know what future lies ahead of you in the end of time. Once the gate closes, you will be trapped there. There is a powerful entity that entity that lies there, an ancient force of my people. We have never been able to deal with it. I fear it may consume you all. Ginny, you don't have to do this. Come with us and we'll fight it together. No, I must choose this gate from here. I must close this gate from here. I must keep watch for it is for it escapes for if it escapes it will consume this universe. Farewell, Mr. Deuce. We shall not meet again. A strong barrier formed around us, protecting us from the influence of the dark cloud. We could see nothing, but the turbulence sent us all over the place. And then there was silence. We awoke to find ourselves in a strange new universe. And before me stood the last person I wanted to see. Nefreti. What? This is so weird. The We're at the end of time. Okay. Um, let's go to the weapons lab, I guess. As I entered the lab, I saw a strange purple globe emitting, emitting crackling energy. Well, what the heck is that? The deuce, watch out! Before I could think, Deadeye jumped on me and pushed me to the ground. A brief flash nearly missed us, leaving a smoldering dust circle in its wake. Phew, that was close. Ah, uh, you, you can get off me now. <laughs> oh, so sorry. So what was that just now? It's a secret. You'll just have to find out for yourself. Dang, alright. Chain? Was that it? Um... Can we buy chain? I earned an achievement. Okay. And V bomb or scatter. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I want to buy anything. Let's go to the hangar and we'll buy some modules. How many can I buy? I bought 15. <laughs> that was probably a waste of money, but whatever. There, that's maxed out. Um, that's maxed out. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was probably a waste of money. Okay, that seems good. Uh, a status. We have 30? Jesus. Okay, let's um... Let's increase our luck. Our intel. Agility. Defense is very important. I want 10. And offense. Okay, I think that's good. And let's go to the cafe where Mare is there. Mare, I've always been curious. Where did you buy your craft? I've never seen anything like it. It was not purchased. I constructed it myself. Or... I, I freaking messed up his voice. 
its capabilities far exceed even more most capital ships. How does it even work? It's a secret I shall not reveal. I don't suppose you'll let me fly it one of these days. Impossible. My ship responds only to my commands. To my own commands. Oh, okay, um... Is there something else? No, it's just that you're so hard to talk to. Then perhaps we should sit in silence. Am I irritating you? No. Why are you always like that? What do you mean? I feel as though you don't like talking to me. I'm fine with that, but if I'm bothering you, I'll leave. Beep boop beep. See like that. I have no strong desire for conversations. However, I do not mind your presence if that is what you're concerned. Hmm. Beep boop beep. Alright, I'll just sit here in silence then. It was about five minutes before I got up and left. Mayor said nothing. <laughs> I could only imagine what went on in Mayor's head. I must have been as dull as watching paint dry. Okay, so there's nobody else to talk to. Okay. So I guess next time we'll um, do Gravestone Fields, alright? I'll see you guys later.